everyone and welcome back to the channel and it's Diane's Decorating and More. Thank you so much for joining me here on the channel today. Truly appreciate you guys out there for showing your support. Today I would like to share with you one of the many pound cakes that I make during this time of the year and it is basically the Black History Month uh, pound cake and it has different colors and I have the techniques that you We'll see here in the video very simple and easy to follow so it won't be anything complex okay all right so this particular cake is um, usually baked um, with uh, the colors of red green black and yellow and I hope that you will enjoy the video and that you will leave a comment and let me know what you think of the pound cake okay so without any further ado I will let you know also that we're very close to reaching our goal of 500 subscribers. So come on guys, let's push it on over the top, okay? And show yourself strong out there for me, all right? Here on the channel. Truly appreciate you guys. All right, so let's get started. As always, when we are making our pound cakes or anything that has to do with baking, I try to make sure that everything is at room temperature as you well know okay by now if you're following me on the channel here all right so um everything has been cleaned and sanitized and we are ready to go all right so first up we're going to go ahead and um whip up the butter and the um, sugar together okay so that way it can do a good consistency and also combine really really well Alrighty, um, I also wanted to point out here with this um, particular cake that um, this is the first cake uh, that I was making for the new year. I have not made a cake uh, on the channel, I think it was uh, December, so we're in the middle part of February, and so this will be the first cake that I'm making for you guys here on the channel. So hopefully you will like it, as I said before, and uh, show your support, all right? Share the channel and subscribe to the channel. Um, a lot of people don't know, but you have to actually sign into YouTube to make it count if you want to leave a comment or subscribe. You can watch it, but only the viewer part will show up. So if you want to subscribe, you have to sign in, guys. Just to let you know, for a lot of people don't know that little tip there about YouTube. Alrighty? Okay. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and put on um, the butter and sugar in there first. And like I said, we're going to let that whip. I'm going to put on my apron. I forgot to put my apron on. Normally I don't get that. <laughs> okay. So, anywho... Alright, getting dressed here on the show, which is not something I normally do, but anyway, I might cut it out. We'll see. Alright, so anyway, we're going to go ahead and let this sugar and butter whip for about, uh, what did I say? Uh, 10 minutes. I'm going to let it whip about 10 minutes and then um, we'll come back and see what it looks like. It should be fluffy and um, everything normally it is. So, and I'll show you exactly what that consistency looks like too. Okay. All right. All right. Guys. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't be consistently baking these cakes. Sometimes you get a little twisted and turned around. Yeah. But we're going to get through this together. Yes, we are. Alrighty. So, kicking off the baking of my cakes here once again. Um, so... Like I said, this is the, one of the first cakes I'm baking for you guys. 
since the holidays. So, because I've been putting other stuff out there on the channel. And I hope you've been seeing that and um, sharing it and liking it, what I put out there on the channel. Okay. So, leave your comments, share the channel, and subscribe, guys. It really, really helps. Alrighty. So, we got our three sticks of butter in there now. And we're going to let that whip. And then we're going to add the sugar. Um... And I'll come back and show you exactly what that looks like. All right. That's a good start. <laughs> okay, it took a little longer this time to whip this because when I started out, and I want to share this with you, I started out with a different uh, beater and it's the one like I'll show it to you right quick okay start out with this one okay so I had to switch it over to the little finer one okay to get the consistency that I was looking for when you mix your butter and your um, your butter and your sugar okay so I want to show you exactly what that looks like okay that's your butter and that's your sugar right there already whipped okay so i had to add an additional five minutes because of that switch out all right so if you do start your cake like that just know that you need to switch it out to get that fluffy consistency that you're gonna look um that you're gonna have to have to make the cake turn out fluffy like you want it okay so i want to make sure i give you that this information Alrighty. Okay. So now we're at the point where <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and add our eggs in one at a time. And this this cake requires um, five eggs, five large eggs. Let me be specific with that. Five large eggs. Okay. So we're gonna add those in one at a time until they are combined. Alrighty. Start that off on so and I add them one at a time. Alrighty? Until they all combine in there, right? And then I'll come back and show you exactly what the next steps are. Just enough time in between for them to, to combine into the mix. Alright. Alright, so now that is completed. And that is the consistency there of your sugar, your eggs, and your butter. Alright. So we are ready to proceed with our next steps guys i'm excited about this cake i really really am so we're gonna see how it turns out all right so now we're going to go ahead now this is the flour and it's three cups of flour okay i've already sifted it and everything i have the salt and the baking powder in here okay you have um one fourth teaspoon of salt in this one and half a teaspoon of baking powder in here okay with your three cups of flour okay um and this is your one cup of milk that's at room temperature also and we're gonna have we're gonna add some vanilla in there okay and of course my favorite superior okay and we're gonna add that in there and into our milk okay sometimes this stuff's 
settles. So you have to kind of like shake it really, really good. Vanilla. Okay, we're going to add a teaspoon of that as well. And I'll put that in my milk. First teaspoon I put in directly into the, the mixture there. Alright, so that's a little different. We don't have to do that. I chose to do it. Okay. You can just put it all in the milk if you want. Alrighty. Alright. So we're going to roll on with that. Alright. Now we're going to alternate between the flour and the milk. Okay. So we're going to start with your dry and end with your dry. Right, so I'll show you that technique of step one, and that's how you process it through the whole mixture of your milk and your flour. All righty, okay, so kick it off on slow, like that. And that should do a lot like that speed right there, okay, and it's just a little bit of time. back and forth, back and forth. Okay. And then so you can continue on with that until you finish it out and you should end with the flour last. Alright? I'm going to stop it guys and Break down the sides. Um, make sure we get all of that in there as well. Because it does have a tendency to push up while it's um, mixing onto the sides of the, the bowl there. So make sure you scrape all that down and give it a few more turns after that. Get all that off of there at the top too. Okay. All right, get a close-up shot of that. Okay. All right. Very good. So now comes the fun part, where we're going to separate the batter into three bowls, okay? And we're going to make our colors for the cake. All right. And I have three bowls here. I'm going to separate this batter into three bowls. I was debating how I wanted to do this in terms of the color. Because the colors are yellow, red, green, and black. So, with black being such a dominant color, I think I wanted to put it on top of the cake as versus putting it inside the cake because it would definitely take over the yellow and the red okay and the green for sure so that's what i'm going to do okay we're going to separate the colors out okay now 
think this would be the best way to do it. Because like I said, the black is very dominating. It's a very dominating color. So, I don't want it to, you know, turn the whole cake um, black. That was one of my concerns with this cake. You know, so I want to make sure that the colors have their own distinct identity in the cake. And that's very important. Each color has its own distinction and own the yellow in the first bowl here and just a couple of drops of your uh, food color in there okay let's start with yellow this is your green okay. all right and this is the red Then we're gonna mix those colors in there really, really well. We're gonna see how this comes out, guys. Ready to put our batter inside of our prepare pan. As you can see, I've already sprayed it. Okay, we're gonna put our dominating color on the bottom first which is believed to be the red, okay? I'm gonna put that in there. You can see that. dominating color is going to be our green okay so there I'm just gonna do the same thing go around putting that on top so move this around on top of the red try not to mix or mess with the red but just kind of like smoothing it over the top of it. As evenly as possible. Okay. Alright, so that's the green there. Bring it a little closer so you can see everything inside because I want you to see it. Okay, so now I wanted to bring you a little closer so you can see how I have it laid out here. Okay, the red is at the bottom, green's in the middle, and then the yellow is going to go on top. It is the least dominating color. Okay. Okay. All right, so basically you're just spreading it around. Making sure it's even as possible. That's all you're doing. Okay. And go back and we're going to scrape down the batter from in the smaller bowl. Out 
shall go back and smooth out the yellow. Try not to mix in the green. If you do, it's okay, but just try not to. It's going to do its own thing when it's baking, so you can't control that part. But the part you can control, control it. All right. All right. That looks good to me. Like what I see. So hopefully the colors won't combine too, too much. Every color will have its own distinction throughout the baking process. But if it doesn't, hey, it's the whole purpose of the cake. Is to show forth the colors, so it's all good. All right, but that looks good, guys. I am pleased with what I see. Get that last bit of yellow out of there. All right. We're going to put this in the oven. Our oven has been preheated to 325. It's going to bake for about an hour and 20 minutes. And I'm going to check it an hour and 20 to see if it's going to need any more time or not. We're going to come back and I'll show you exactly what I'm going to do with the icing for the cake. Alrighty. So sit tight. Hey guys, we are back now. I wanted to show you right quick while the cake is in the oven baking um, the different colors that we're going to put on top of the cake, okay? I went ahead and put together the green icing, the yellow icing, as well as the red, okay? And basically it's just powdered sugar with um, some cream. You can use canned cream or you can use milk, whichever one you have that's available. And you just mix it until it's pourable, thick but pourable, okay? And then you go in and you put in your colors and you can use food coloring, red, the um, green, okay? And I also use the yellow for the yellow. Um, icing part okay now I'm getting ready to mix the black um, that's gonna go on top of the cake okay around the top of the cake and then the colors are gonna flow down the side of the of the uh, cake okay so I think that's gonna be a, a better combination as it relates to the, the cake and the icing for the cake Alrighty, so I'm basically going to add some milk in here, and um, I'm just using some coffee made here, uh, so wild cherry, wild chocolate raspberry, um, we can, like I say, you can use canned milk, you can use bottled milk, um, and since this is already flavored, I don't have to worry about putting any type of extract or anything in it. Alrighty. So we just add some of that in there. Again, this is powdered sugar. Okay. I'm just going to stir that so I can get the consistency of what I'm you know, really looking for. I think this is going to turn out really pretty. your black okay that's it there all right so as soon as our cake come out of the oven we will let it cool and we will begin our process of completion all right okay so this is the cake fresh out of the oven there as you can see 
the green, the yellow, and the red around the edges here. So now we gotta wait till it cools down before we can apply our icing. Okay guys, so now we're gonna go ahead, after our cake is already cooled off, we're going to go ahead and put our top layer of our icing on first, okay? And we had talked about that being the black. So we're going to go ahead. So now we're going to go ahead and start with our colors to go around the outside of the cake and let that just do its thing, okay? And you can see there. And this color is going to be the green. It's starting to do its thing around the edges also. I'm going to continue to turn. I'm going to do your yellow.
much. I'm just gonna let it do its thing for the next two or three minutes and we'll see what's gonna happen. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the inside of the cake. So shot there. Okay. And those are your colors for the Black History pound cake. Okay. All right. Now we're going to taste it. It's very moist. It smells good, so. Very tasty, very tasty. You taste the vanilla in there, for sure. And the butter. Mm -hmm. Very, very good cake. Very moist, guys. Very moist. Very happy. I'm very happy with the outcome of this cake. And I think that um, you all will be too. Should you decide to make this cake, okay? Going forward. And remember, you can make it for February for Black History Month. Or you can make it for June. For Juneteenth. So... Try this cake out, okay? And let me know how it turns out for you. Leave a comment about the process and how I put it together for you guys here on the channel, all right? And be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. So that way, you will be notified every time something delicious like this and created like this is uploaded to the channel, all right? Thank you again for stopping by. Go out and have a great one. And we'll see you in the next video.